final scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First to make his way to the glory ring, it was a barrage of low kick combinations that ended his semi by way of the glory tournament two knockdown rule. Welcome back, Josh Johnson. <laughs> Frank, here's a guy who gets it. He's lip syncing. Maybe a candidate for lip sync battle, but not feeling the pressure whatsoever. Enjoying his chosen vocation. 22 year old Josh Johnson loves his queen. I love it. He wants it. to be king. I love the feeling, man. You can tell he's celebrating his life. Lots to celebrate thus far in his glory career has reeled off four impressive wins, including a stoppage victory in the semifinals earlier tonight over Jermaine. It was a series of devastating knees that ended his semi-opponent in the first round. Here comes Sidney Chai, Sid Song Pinnacle. I know you made your debut as a fighter against our good friend, Abbas Rutan. Sita Chai Sit Song Pinong made quite the debut against a former champion in David Kiria. We are set for the Glory Contender Lightweight Tournament Final. Thailand, Sitachai, Sitsong, Pinong, squaring off with Canada's Josh Johnson. Tell the tape, these guys are fairly even here. Slight reach advantage for Sitachai and a slight height advantage for Johnson. I don't think any of that matters. I think it's about who strikes first and who brings the heat. Now, without further ado, let's toss it back up to the international voice of glory, Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the black corner, he now runs his record to 23 wins with four losses and 12 knockouts. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at an even 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. He's back to fight for Canada. Please welcome Josh Johnson. His opponent fights out of the white corner and runs his record to 98 wins with 28 losses and five bouts scored even. 26 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at 153 pounds, 69.5 kilos. He fights tonight out of Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the killer kid, Sidney Chai, yep. Sid Song Pino. And here now is your referee, John Axwood. Yeah, I think so too. Sita Chai, Sit Song Pinong defeated John C's mentor Andy Sauer in January after knocking out Glory Vet Myrtle Grunhart the same night in China. Wait. Can't wait for this one. The bell and round one. Josh Johnson of Canada and the Black Gloves. Thailand, Sit Chai, Sit Song Pinong in the white. Buddy, I'm on the edge of my seat here. Oh. And immediately, right. Sitachai attacking the inside of Johnsey's lead leg. There's a body kick. You'll have to watch for knees from both fighters. Straight right hand down the middle by Johnsey. Kick was blocked. That one missed. But just barely. 
Yeah, Johnson's got good range and understanding of those kicks. So to try and check that low kick. So much power in that round kick. So to try had his first fight at the age of 11. John C. had his first amateur fight at age nine. So lifelong practitioners of the martial arts. And wow, John C. just ate that right left hand from Sitachai. Took the shot well. Took a big risk coming in with that knee. Again, that round kick by Sitachai finds its mark. From the southpaw stance, keeping John C. honest. Behind the jab, look, using it as a range finder for those round kicks. There's a left hook behind the guard. Check hook by Johnson. Oh, nice. Nice counter. So much at stake in the final. The coveted Ramon Decker's trophy. And there's blood now around the right eye of Johnsey's. He continues to be battered with those left round kicks by Sinichai. He now has to deal with an injured right eye. Johnsey's got to keep moving out of the way of the power of Sinichai. That left kick is too strong. Final minute of the first round. We mentioned the Ramon Decker's Cup, the late great Thai fighter who competed at Lumpini Stadium, nicknamed Diamond. Diamonds are forever, and so is Ramon Deckers. Coming in is John C. in the clinch. You have up to five seconds to initiate a knee attack. Referee Axwood calls for the break, and time being called now as they're going to check the cut on the right eye of Josh John C. John C. training in Den Bosch, Netherlands, with Andy Sauer. Just happens to be the home of Glory Lightweight champion Robin Van Roosmalen. It's in a bad place. It's not straight above the eye, which means it won't run straight into the eye. But that's Still, when problem. it's a, a cut over the eye, never a good thing, and let's hope it doesn't play a, a more pivotal factor than it has to in terms of the determining the result of this much-anticipated final. For sure, and once the skin's popped open, if Sinichai hits him with a hard enough kick, he'll hit his own glove on his head and could open his head up. He's got to be extra careful of that spot now. Of course, safety is paramount, and the crack medical staff tending to Josh Johnsey here in hopes of allowing him to continue against Sitachai Sitsong Pinong, who couldn't have asked for a better start to his glory career. The crowd of 6,000 here in Lille, France, appreciating the efforts of the medical staff as the fight resumes. Ah, oh, there it is. That big kick. Amazing technique from these two youngsters, and the operative word is youngster. Sitachai 23, Johnsey 22. And here they are fighting in the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament. The, the future of the division is bright indeed, as round number two is straight ahead. Die. That cut came out of nowhere. It might have come up right here on that exchange, that quick left when he tried to roll out. Johnson tried to slide out there. And Sidichai followed him straight out. Boom, that looks like it. And it's awesome. You could hit a glove hard enough to make that cut come open. It's a, that's a medium bad cut. Set for round two are here at Pierre Morois Stadium in Lille, France. Canadian Josh Johnson having to overcome some adversity in that first round with a cut over the right eye, but not bleeding at the moment. Good job by his corner, but Sitachai. A strong first round for the Thai fighter, Frank. Very strong. John C. making adjustments. He's moving to his right more, getting out of the way of that left kick. Man, he's that... still eating it. 
It's like a baseball bat to the ribs repeatedly. Using it for batting practice and John C needs to circle away to his left like you say, but against the the southpaw, you can walk into that right hook. Yeah, that's the other problem. But John C staying at range, trying desperately to to find his rhythm, but man being disrupted by the merciless attack of Sitachai Sitsong Pinong. What a revelation he has been thus far in the glory ring. For real. Now, most ties don't have punching power, or at least they're not perceived as having punching power. He's got pop in his hands. During our fighter meeting with Sitachai, when we asked him about his first opponent, Kyria, with all due respect to the former glory lightweight champion, he said, he doesn't concern me. John C. does. Yep. He also laughed when I asked him about the kicks. Like, are you worried about his kicks? He goes, we're from Thailand. We kick twice as hard. Well, and there, <laughs> there you, it is. John C.'s figuring that out quickly. A steady stream of sickening round kicks to the body of Josh Johnson, courtesy of Sitatai Sitsong Pinong. And those just destroy your forearms and, and your shoulders, makes everything tired. Step back. Valiant effort by Johnson, looking to move forward, but having to deal with the, the eye injury and total kicks, a whitewash for Sitsong Pinong, 63% connect rate. There's a flurry of punches by Johnson before they clinch. Coming up on the final minute of the second round. Uppercut, Johnson listening to his corner. There's a left hand of the body followed by a knee from Sitsong Pinong. Sitsong Pinong doing a good job of maintaining distance. We talked about his style from the outside and using that left round kick as his calling card. Well, the kick is very tight, but the rest of it is not. It's a nice variation of it. It's making it very effective in this game. Yeah, Johnson was just hoping he'd reach a wrong number. Not so far. <laughs> Final 15 seconds of the round. And it continues to be Sitachai Sitsong Pinong battering the body of Johnson with those left round kicks. Who will challenge Robin Van Roosmalen? Third round coming up. Oh. Well, don't even need to ask, I guess, Frank, but uh, Sitachai, shut out thus far? So far. So far, and it's that it's that kick, it's that round kick, and then the strong hands he's following up with. Keep your keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, keep your feet on the ground. This kick is doing great at keeping the range and holding and forcing John C to stay on the outside, and then when he comes close, wham! He just throws that thing at him. There it is. Oh wow! Wow, I'm surprised Johnson was not seriously hurt by that shot. Time for the third and final round of the Glory Lightweight hey. Contender Tournament. And Sitachai Sitsong Pinong continues to author the feel-good story. Coming from the abject poverty but thanks to his skills in muay thai and now in kickboxing he's helped his family purchase a new rice plow in thailand a pickup truck they've also been able to purchase some land as he attacks him with the knee and they've almost constructed a new home all thanks to what this 23 year old has been able to do with his skills amazing john c trying to navigate the riddle that is Sitachai. Total strikes. Big edge for the Thai fighter at 44% clip thus far. He's doubled his output. Stop in the lower back. Right. And when you look at Josh Johnson, what he's been able to accomplish in such a short period of time. Frank, you, you've been a part of the sport a long time as well, combat sports, the adversity, the education, 
Not to say that he's going to lose the fight. There's two minutes remaining. But should he taste defeat for the first time in the glory ring, not to be discouraged after what he's accomplished. Uh, I'm looking at his body and thinking he Friday. might just anyways. It's, you know, it comes down to experience. This guy's got 130 fights. This guy's no joke. He knows his game inside and out. And the fact that John C. continues to come forward after being repeatedly smashed with that left round kick is a testament to his fortitude. But he just continues to pick him off with that kick. Hey, step back, step back. What? Yeah, and, and now hey. Sidichai is trying to sneak that knee in behind. He's got uh, John C. moving and blocking. Hey. He's trying to slide up that knee. It was a knee that ended David Curia's pursuit of another chance at the Glory Lightweight Championship. There's an inside low kick by Johnson. Final 60 seconds. Johnson switching stances, looking for a way inside, trying to get past that left kick. There's that knee. Sinichai swims in with knees and kicks and immediately darts out. Johnson remains steadfast in his pursuit. Trying to land the proverbial kill shot, but time is running out. Now going downstairs with an inside low kick is Sitachai. There's a left round Three. kick yet again. An amazing display of techniques here in the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament. And what a debut here in Lille, France for a man who has created many memories already in this part of the world, Sitachai Sitsong Pinong. And the appreciative crowd with a round of applause for both athletes' efforts. Both recorded impressive wins in the semifinals, but there can be only one. Looking at the lightweight rankings, the champion, Robin Van Roosmalen, number one contender, Andy Risty, finds himself in, in hot water following, following Glovegate. John C. was at number four, Sitichai at number three. We'll find out who gets to challenge the champion. And speaking of champions, the glory heavyweight kingpin, the prince of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven, making his way, getting set to defend the title for the second time against Benjamin Eddick Bowie. It's all coming up as Glory 22 rolls on. So Frank, the left round kick of Sitachai, the resolve of Josh Johnson in surviving what was a steady wave of brutal kicks. Brutal, and you were right. It's like a baseball bat. He was just letting them fly. That's the biggest strength of the tie is they have that kick and it neutralizes and stops. What impressed you the most about Sitachai's debut in glory tonight? You know, it's the way he manipulated his style to fit into here. You know, his, his team told us he's not, a, he's not a traditional Thai guy. He doesn't clinch, he doesn't do that. He fights on the outside. And I really liked seeing the traditional kicks from Thai, you know, the basic power movements mixed with his different flair. And for Josh Johnson, again, we don't know what, how the judges will render their verdict, but what will he take away from this, this fight? I think it's just a learning experience. I mean, to fight somebody that experienced and that talented, that fluid, he's going to come away from this learning a lot. He's going to watch this fight and go, oh, that's why, and that's why, and that's why. He's going to pick himself apart. It's going to be a good learning experience. But Hindsight is 2020. Anything he could have done differently in the final? You know, I think he should have pushed a little harder on that push kick. He's going to try to stop that kick, stop that range. Uh, but, I mean, I think he was outmatched. Receiving some encouraging words. The John C. family. And there's Sitachai's corner. So is that the man who will challenge Robin Van Roosmalen for the Glory Lightweight title? From my vantage point, it is. 
I give that a yes vote. But when it comes to combat sports and the adjudication process, it ain't over till it's over, <laughs> as a wise man once said. So we are set for the official decision momentarily as we look at glory strike stats. And Sidichai just, you know, he's got better numbers. He's got landed 50%, almost 50% of his kicks. It's like he was on tonight. 64% of them. He was tight. A longtime combat sports fans know of the success of Muay Thai practitioner turned kickboxer Buakal Porpremk. Premek was now known as Buakal Benchemek. I believe that uh, Sita Chai, killer kid Sit Song Pinong, is about to follow in his footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard in this tournament final. All three judges score the bout 30 27 for your winner who now becomes Lori Lightweight Contender, City Chai, City A glory star is born in 23 year old City Chai, killer kid sits on Pinong, Rob Kalen. And with the contender certificate, another great champion, Remy Bonyaski. Tremendous. Kickboxing pedigree in that ring. Rob Common, Remy Bonyaski, and what a moment for Sita Chai Sitsong Pinong. An incredible debut, and he will be the man who will next challenge Robin Van Roosmalen for the glory lightweight crown. And for John C., a, a definite learning experience. Falls to four and one, taste defeat for the first time in the glory ring. Let's go to Frank Shamrock. Sinichai, extremely impressive to see you win this tournament in your glory debut. Um, we were blown away, <laughs> seriously blown away. Your left kick seemed to be the key to winning this fight. Do you agree? <laughs> สุดยอดเกินต้านทานเลยคิดว่าแข้งซ้ายของตัวเองทรงพลังแค่ไหนก็คิดว่าเป็นจุดเด่นของผมครับเพราะว่าแข้งซ้ายผมก็เก่งม